sooner be Sunderland here than Newcastle there. Paul Dobson, I'm the editor of the Sunderland fanzine, I love Supreme. Well, we've been going since 1989, when fanzines were just starting out with a, a photocopier in somebody's bedroom, a lot of handwritten stuff that was cockeyed. Can't remember not supporting them, uh, became aware of them when I was about five or six, and then when they won promotion in 63, 64, then it was all right, football club's big. Since we began, our average lifespan of a permanent manager is just under 18 months. The last 10 years has been like a corner corny phrase, it's a revolving door, you know, people have come in with varying degrees of support from the fans, from the off, um, some have done okay. Most of them haven't, to be fair, otherwise we wouldn't be where we are now. Um, haven't been right the way down to our low step and on the way back, hopefully. It was essentially got a League One. Even the fans kind of said for for 12 months it was novel, then interviewed some fans from a Love Supreme, like, we are sick to death of playing football in League One. They are back on the rise. The top two places in the, in the Championship seem out of place, but they have good players like Paddy Roberts and Jack Claw, and Alice Pritchard who mean that the game against Newcastle, will, will, they will be able to create chances. It's probably the game where performance doesn't matter. It's, it's about the end result. I love the derbies. Sometimes they're played at such frantic pace because the build-up's just so intense leading up to the match. And when we talk about going around the city, everyone's, you know, leading up to the game. It's like, don't lose, don't lose, got to beat them, got to beat them. It's not, no one talks about, hope you play fantastic, it's just got to beat them, just got to beat them. You feel it, you can feel the nerves, you just know so much rests on the game. Newcastle haven't won one for more than 10 years. Sunderland are on the his, this historic run of nine games without getting beaten by the rivals. You look forward to them, you dread them in equal measure. I still get nervous about them at this stage in my life, and I shouldn't, but you do. Logic says, Newcastle have spent millions of pounds. They're a division above us. We've spent now that you know nobody in their right mind should put money on us to win. But you always trot out the old phrase: form boot goes out the window in the FA Cup, third round, and in derby games. The region is better for them. It, re it can really showcase just how much tribal identity there is to the two clubs. The hype will be great. Um, the atmosphere will be something else, and. There is so much on the line for both teams now because Newcastle need that result after exiting the Carabao Cup, the Champions League and effectively the Europa League. And Sunderland, that would just be, you know, manna from heaven for them to say you've got your Saudi money and you still can't beat us.